better pay, more class time, and better resources. Teachers in Baltimore County rallied this evening, demanding better contracts from the school board. The teachers union is currently negotiating a contract with the board for the next school year, and they say the superintendent's, superintendent's billion dollar budget does not support teachers. Teachers work hours and hours and hours beyond their scheduled day. There just is not enough time to do everything they need to do and teach students as well. And so we need to have the county recognize that and put some more planning time into our days. And right after that rally, one man spoke out at the Baltimore County Public School Board meeting after a 21-year-old convicted sex offender was re-enrolled at Parkville High School. He and his wife have started a group called Parent to Parent Network after they say their loved one was sexually assaulted at a county school. They left the district to enroll in private school. We had several of the Parkville families reach out to us asking us for more information. So we've been digging in further, trying to understand more about what's going on, uh, speaking with legislators uh, about enacting some laws to make it to where sexual predators cannot be in the school with their children. Um, and this was just another call to action. So and in response to the Parkville incident, a state lawmaker from Baltimore County has introduced a proposal to ban student sex offenders from school campuses all across the state.